William Tell. William Tell lives near Lake Lucerne, in Switzerland, with his young son Carl. Every day, in the town near Tell's house, Baron Gessler makes everyone bow to his hat. They are all afraid of him. One day, Tell and his son go to the town. They walk past the Baron's hat without bowing. Just then, Gessler arrives. What's this? He says. Bow to my hat, you dogs. Never, says Tell. Take him! Shouts Gessler to his men. For this you must die, Tell! Cries Gessler angrily. But Tell is not afraid. Then Gessler looks at the apple in his hand, and smiles. Wait! Shoot through this apple, my friend, and you can live. All right, says Tell. Take the boy to that tree, and put the apple on his head. Baron Gessler tells his men, and he laughs. Tell takes two arrows out, and gets ready to shoot. You can do it, father! Shouts Carl. Don't be afraid. William Tell shoots one arrow at his son, and it goes through the apple and into the tree. Why have you got a new arrow ready? Asks an angry Gessler. To shoot you, Baron, says Tell. Take him to my castle, Gessler tells his men. Angrily, the Baron's men take Tell to a boat on the lake. Run, Carl! Shouts Tell to his son. People throw things at the Baron. They aren't afraid of him any more. When the boat is out on the lake, there's a bad storm. Let's get Tell to help us! Shout the Baron's men. He's good with boats. So Tell steers the boat, but soon there are rocks in front of them. What are you doing? Gessler shouts at him. Tell jumps from the boat. Before it hits the rocks, suddenly, Gessler and his men are in the water. You're a dead man, William Tell! Shouts the Baron angrily. And every man, woman, and child in the town must die with you too. Tell says nothing. He takes an arrow and shoots Gessler. The Baron falls into the lake and does not come up again. Tom Blood. Tom Blood arrives home after fighting. In the English Civil War, where are you? He calls to his wife. But there's nothing in the house, and his wife isn't there. He looks at her picture. I must find her, but where? Perhaps she's in London. 
Tom goes to London to look for his wife, but no one can help him. Then, after three long days, a man gives him some good news. She's living in that house over there, he says. Tom finds his wife in a small room. Why are you here? He asks. We have no money, Tom, she says. The king has our house and all our things. His men are taking everything from the losers in the civil war. Tom is angry. The king steals everything from me. He says, "So I must steal something from him." The next day, Tom changes his clothes. Why are you wearing a parson's hat and coat? His wife asks. We're going to the Tower of London, he says with a smile. They go to see the king's jewels. After that, Tom visits the tower every day for a week. Soon, Talbot, the guard, is his friend, and Tom can visit the tower after it closes. Talbot meets him at the door. "Come in, Parson," he says. In the jewel room one night, Tom. Hits Talbot on the head. Now for the jewels, he thinks, and he puts them into his coat. Suddenly, lots of tower guards come running in. The parson's stealing the jewels! One of them shouts. Later, the guards. Take Tom to the king. What do you have to say about this, Tom Blood? He asks. You take all my things. Is that fair? Asks Tom. Yes, says the king. Right. You take all my things, so I take your jewels," says Tom. "Is that fair?" The king looks at Tom for a minute, then he laughs. "You're a clever man, Tom Blood," he says, "and I like you. You can have your things back, and from this day, you can be one of the king's men."